when we talk briefly about loops and uh, conditional statements in MATLAB. So a loop is a way of getting MATLAB to perform the same set of instructions over and over and over again, uh, which is sometimes useful in maths and in lots of other situations. So the first, uh, the first type is called a for loop. And here's the syntax. So I simply say for k equals 1 colon 10. So that's saying let k equal 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, up to 10. k. And end. So that's it. That's the syntax. And what MATLAB will do is... Um, it will perform that 10 times and each time all we're doing is saying output k so it'll do it vertically but just to show you it, you'll get this kind of output up to 10 that's it not a very exciting example but that's how a for loop works um, let me show you a slightly more interesting example uh, for k equals 1 to 20. Now I'm going to use, uh, within the loop, I'm going to use this uh, if statement. It's a, it's a conditional statement and it says, if this expression is true, do the following code. So if is prime, I happen to know there's a function called is prime which looks at the number you give it and decides if it's prime or not. It can be quite useful. If is prime k, if k is a prime number, and I'm going to say output k. Um, what I can do with an if statement is uh, I can say else here. In other words, if, if that's not true, do something else. But I'm not bothered about that in this example. So I'm just going to end the if statement. So that if goes with that end. And now I've got for there, so I'm going to end that as well. And what's going to happen here is it's going to go through, it's going to set k to be 1. Is k what is is 1 prime? No, it's not. So it'll go to end and it'll go round again. Uh, end for k is 1 to 20, so now k is 2. Is 2 prime? Yes, it is. So output k, end. Now k is 3. So I'm going round and round and round. k is 3. If is prime 3? Yes, 3 is prime, so yes, I will do that. End, back up. Increase k by 1 again, so k is 4. Is 4 prime? No, it's not. So I skip that go to end, back up again, k is 5, is it prime? Yes it is, so it'll output it, and it'll keep doing that. Every time it comes across a prime number, it'll print it, and every time it comes across a non-prime number, it'll skip and move on to the next one, and you'll get an output like that. Finally, there's a loop called a while loop. Now what a while loop says is continue to do this loop while this particular condition is true. So for this example, I'm going to have a variable called count and I'm going to set it to 10 and I don't want to output it. Now I'm going to start my while loop. While count is greater than zero, which it, it is at the moment. While count is greater than zero, do the following. Let's have count equals count minus one. Take the current value of count and take one off it um, and 
I'm not going to put a semicolon there, so it'll also output the the uh, value of count. And just like with the for loop, I then put end. So continue to do this over and over again while count is greater than zero. But if count is not greater than zero, that's when it will stop the loop. So count is 10. I have an output 10. Get to the loop. Count is count minus one, so it's nine, and it'll output nine, and then it'll get to end. And it'll go back to the while, and it'll say, yep, count is still greater than zero. Count is count minus one. And it'll keep doing that over and over again. Right, at this stage, count is one. While count is greater than not, yes, it is. So I will do this, which is to subtract one from it. So I'll get zero. And then the next time it goes through, count is now zero, I'll say, is count greater than zero? No, it's not. So it stops and I'll end up with that output. So we've got for loop. Um, we've got a conditional if statement which ends with an end so if this thing is true do this and then we've got a while loop continue to do this while this is true and that's all I wanted to say in this video